Here are a few steps to follow to clean your effluent filter. You should clean your effluent filter at least twice a year, every six months. An effluent filter that is badly maintained can block the exit of your pretreatment tank. This could cause problems, including backed up sewage in the house. Before starting, make sure you are appropriately dressed with long pants, long sleeve shirt, safety glasses, gloves, and boots. Generally speaking, pretreatment tanks have two covers. They may be buried, though in some regions, local regulations require or strongly recommend that the pretreatment tank be accessible at all times. Start by removing the covers. If they are buried, you'll have to find and dig them up before starting. After removing the covers, pull up the effluent filter that you will find in the second compartment. Before you rinse it out, make sure to stand over the first compartment. This means that any debris stuck in the effluent filter will fall to be decanted just like any other debris coming from the house. If the filter is rinsed over the second compartment, untreated debris could be sent directly to the leach field or block the effluent filter once more. While holding the filter over the first compartment of the pretreatment tank, rinse with a hose to remove all residue stuck in the filter. Some effluent filters are connected to an alarm that sounds when the filter requires cleaning. When dealing with these filters, make sure the system works correctly by lifting the float that activates the alarm. Check the openings to make sure there are no obstructions. Use the hose pressure to remove them if needed. Replace the filter firmly in its support. Make sure the arrow on the filter points to the tank exit. If needed, clean up any accidental spills around the pretreatment tank. Secure the covers back on. Change your clothes right away and clean your hands. Note the date and any other information you deem pertinent so you can refer to it later.